early. Uh, because oh. the Slana just doesn't get blinked early enough. Bottom lane, oh. Cheshire Cat goes on through. They've got the Sprout, they've got the Sunray, they've got the sun, uh, Thunder Strike, rather. Do they have the Glimpse here? There's going to be a Glimpse back here into the Kinetic Field. The Crush comes out, so goddamn, he might be stuck a little bit, but I think it's going to be bad for Slarda, who's going to be the first blood. It took four to get him down. I mean, that is a tanky little fish, but in the end, the Slytherin falls. Now mid lane, there could be some sort of return kill as Bignum, he's trying to do something here, but does get smacked down by Night Stalker, so it looks like it will be a one for two across the board as Invoker falls as well so in the end although broodmothers dropped the first blood i think pr they lost i kind of hope he's going to go for like the new the new uh, build that some void players does this experiment with getting the echo save as well in the void and um, because it gives you some decent stats oh, as well as obviously arise. he's in some trouble here he gets voided up he pops out of force bird he pops down the wall but it's not gonna be enough he goes down under his own tower and ill still feeling hella healthy he slowed up but he is still Full of HP and Big Num. There's nothing he could have done to help his buddy there. The Sunray was not under his tower radius, but that might not be enough, clearly, as uh, it seems like Dire. They have no problem diving towers at this point in the game. And Big Num, he doesn't have his ult yet. He's only level 4. The rest of the Radiant are going to join up. They're smoked in. They go for the Chrono here onto Kaiser. That's going to be a big pick if they can get a Death Prophet. is melting low. They've got the Kinetic Field to hold her in place. They will get the kill. J4 may sacrifice his life, glimpsing back the Night Stalker, trying to prevent this death for as long as possible. The Sprout may just save his life. One more hit, one more brain sap. Will get down the Disruptor. Now, ill. Gonna be the target of the damage. They're bringing in the Slardar here. He's got the crush at the ready. Pops out the amplified damage onto Goddamn, but I think that's the end of the fight. Nothing they can do about this. J4 has that static storm. Pops it out. Goes into the trees trying to protect himself. Relax. Taking a lot of damage there from the silence. The kinetic field as well. A Venn diagram of pain, but now ill. Going on through. Gets that void. Not gonna pop the crippling fear just yet. A Cheshire Cat lands another sprout. They bring in the Sunray. He goes in for the nightmare. His Bane's trying to save him, but it's not gonna be enough. Oh man, the glimpse back. They might get another one here as well. How did J4 live? That synergy here from PR is incredible. Everyone knowing when to rotate, what to do to help out their supports. They're still in a pretty good position overall, um, just because the Invoker having such a hard time right now. Yeah, I mean, the Invoker's net worth here has just plummeted. He's six on the chart, being surpassed by a decent margin by a support Night Stalker. Now, this kill may turn things. We've got another nice Chrono here, the Sunstrike following up to Invoker. Finally gets a kill, spoon-fed to him. Now, the Static Storm here, locking down Relax. They might be able to get the Bane here. He does have that Nightmare, but he does fall before he's able to cast it. The Glimpse back onto Ill, securing that there's no more initiation into the fight. Now, Bane and Death Prophet both drop for nothing here. It cost them a Chrono, but they're willing to take that... Be able, they will be giving two tells away for this roach, though, so it is obviously something that they lose a lot. Um, and the mid tower, almost denied, but just not quite enough. Now we do have Death Prophet with that Aegis, so she can just pop out that Exorcism and let it roar, and Cheshire Cat gets silenced up here. Oh, the TP out from the Slard are not going to be enough! He ends up falling once again, so that Sunray, what was once weak, is now absurdly strong and focused. Oh, gets trapped into the trees, he eats his way out with that Quelling Blade, will secure a kill on Cheshire Cat, getting some much-needed revenge for all those sprouts over the years, but... In that end, the one for one trade is going to be slightly in favor of Fruit Mothers, but really not by enough to make it worth the loss of two of their towers. And with an Aegis Prophet, man, that is a really nice read from the Invoker who goes in, Ghost walks up, pops down the Spirits, looking to block something here. He's got the Midas off cooldown. May want to cast that eventually to get the most out of that, but again, there is still going to be that Fiend's Grip out there ready. Now they bring in Ill. It might just be a little too late for the Invoker to get some use out of this. The Wrath of Nature comes on through. He gets plopped down. Cheshire Cat TPing in there. They're looking for more J4 drops in the back lines there. Focus. He's an animal. He's ripping through everyone the egg. It's gonna get focused down, but will it be in time? One more hit, two more hits, no Kaiser gets stunned up. They're looking for the kill and relax, goes in, tries to get the nightmare off, and Phoenix is able to TP on through, but now just plops right back into the open jaws of the Lifestealer. Focus in that fight. He picked up two kills, he's now 2-0-2, right back on track at the top of the net worth chart. Yeah, man. A little bit of engage up top. We got Relax sitting here. He doesn't have that Fiend script, but he's got the Nightmare. Can he rotate in his team? They're gonna bring in the Blink, the Crush. Goddamn, he's locked down. Can he leap out? He's got the Chrono. He's held in place. Looks like the rest of Broodmother's just going in, absolutely ready to rip him to shreds from all angles. Wow. And finally, one more Crush secures the kill. So Slardar making up for those early deaths. Meanwhile, there is a decent sum of push in this mid lane. They go through. They drop the Meatballs. It's gonna be TP's back from the Life Stealer. Treasure Cat will be. The best option would have pretty much just been like commit for the rat and let the, the racks go because when you lose the faces void when the nature's prophet is already pushing the other ways oh. you kind of you kind of submit it right? full smoke popping in they go they get the chrono on two they're dropping meatballs they're dropping sun strikes they got the sunray burning them on through the deafening blast relax barely getting away with this life for now now there's gonna be a nice crush here big num instant trouble has the egg will he use it defensively he goes out faceless point is able to get the kill onto the bay now there's gonna be a yules on the slaughter he forces himself away but he's still super slick and there is gonna be that egg popping out so phoenix is gonna be getting away with full health full mana. You've got the Slaughter sitting back. He does have the TP, so he 
is able to get away home free, but getting the Lifestealer and the Bane completely for free is awesome for Power Rangers, and I didn't think they were going to be able to do it. It's almost a 2k gold swing, almost a 3k XP swing, and I mean, that cute little dip, Archer Cat debuting his BKB, I think it was a bit of a panic button, but it certainly saved his life there. We are going to have Kaiser going on through. Has that Yule Scepter is going to get tornadoed up in the air, so a bit of a taste of her own medicine going back through with the Yules. They bring in the slaughter, they bring in the crush, they bring in the silence, they bring in the damage, and Cheshire Cat will end up falling. And that's, uh, you know, using the BKB that defensively. I think he was a little bit scared uh, because he also saw the slaughter, so, you know, I mean, I guess he was kind of... there, And it did turn that fight, you know, almost... 4k experience back in favor of PR, but PR are slowly losing their grasp and, you know, they've got a really mid-game centered team fight. and now at 30 minutes in, they really either gotta get the most out of that or just accept that they're dropping towers and, well, the Gemma True Sight goes down as Disruptor does end up falling. There is gonna be a Sun Strike here, decent Chrono connecting onto one. They are gonna miss the Deafening Blast as, oh, the Rage, the Glimmer Cape, they're looking for more here. TP out from Goddamn. They go through, they get the Void, they get the Lift. That's gonna be three dead for nothing. Broodmother, they're stomping apart Power Rangers lineup. Does anyone see that there's a them on deck. It is going to be behind this tree. I'm not quite sure. Munson. And now everyone's sitting there onto the exorcism, just whacking through the fortify. They are not spooked at all. Now Kaiser does end up taking the sprout to the face. Has that defensive Yules if he needs. There is going to be a static storm connecting onto two. They're going to go through the Yules. Arise! He's all up in this. Ill is BK beat up. May get the kill on Arise. Does get the kill on Arise. They're looking for a four staff down. They get the four staff down on the Slardar. Goddamn, he's chasing. He's got that leap in four seconds, but focus zoning him completely out on the back lines. We've got Phoenix fighting for his life. There is going to be a drop down. Death Prophet does end up going down. The glimpse back means that the Night Stalker will go through as well. So two for nothing here. They end up losing their tier 3, they take some damage on their racks, but it isn't detrimental. I mean, PR, that wasn't the last fight, that wasn't the nail in the coffin. Um, they did defend the racks, which is obviously one thing, they got two decent kills, uh, the nice <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he just, he looked so desperate there, and now there is going to be a mass group up from Broodmothers. They're going in, they're smoking up on their own regard. Can they get in here? This Roshan is melting fast, but is it going to be fast enough? They pop out the tornado from the Invoker. Oh, Faceless Void snatches the Aegis as it does go down to the Dire. They blink it just a second too soon, so the Aegis goes away to the uh, Faceless Void. He's got two lives here, he's got no Chrono though, so what's he really fighting with? Right-click damage? <laughs> And now there is going to be that t uh, BKB from Cheshire Cat. Nice zone and kinetic field will hold Kaiser in place on the back lines. Goddamn, going back on three, smacking up. They've got the meatball, they've got the Yules. Phoenix Egg connects onto two. Kaiser in some trouble here. Invoker gets the kill onto the vein. Now Kaiser going with those soul siphons, trying to get down J4, but Phoenix Bean, it's just too much. Can Arise get anything done here? He's going to get soul siphoned off. They do end up losing down the Invoker. And now Ill, he's looking to turn things. Bignum going to be next on the menu. They bring in Goddamn, but Goddamn does not want to fight. He knows he's against a bunch. They're going to go through. They might get the Aegis here. They bring in Ill once again, having that void, having that crippling fear. He might turn things onto the Slardar, but it's worth the Slardar's life to get down the void. He goes, he eats the cheese, and he will end up popping that Aegis. Now, can they lock him down another time? They do have that blink at the ready, but looks like they're going to go through with silence here, and they get him down twice! It's going to be essentially a full wipe. Cheshire Cat, the only one able to bail out of that. They got down the void's Aegis, they got down his life, and that's a huge, huge fight for Broodmothers. That was so close. So close. But you're kind of, like, slowly getting into you. want to have that refresh up as soon as possible to be able to be that one man army invoker that, uh, that you kind of have to be at this point to be able to deal with a hot Octarine DP. Oh, Cheshire Cat getting lifted, getting played with, and falls down. Now that secures Cheshire Cat falling down to so the top two net worth heroes are on Broodmothers. There will be a glimpse back. Goddamn alive for now. Did finish up that Manta. So able to buy himself a little bit of time with that. But Broodmothers, I mean, they're getting ready. They're surrounding the space like a snake, just slowly coiling in, getting their pickoffs, getting their lanes pushed, and it's not... Making sure he just walks on through that connect, connect field. Now Bignum silenced up. Can't go in for the egg just yet. He's going to be stuck in those trees. Now there's going to be goddamn leaping on away. There's going to be a sun strike here. They get the lift on the Cheshire Cat. They're dropping meatballs. They're doing everything, but there's no concise focus damage. And now there is going to be some more uh, damage spraying out here. It's going to be massacres all over the board. As it looks like everyone getting lifted up, dropped down. In the end, it's going to be a two for two. Where did, uh... Where did... Why did he go? I think he was TPing and then Icarus dived halfway through, so his TP oh, was elsewhere. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> uh, in the end, I don't even. That was a two for one. They dropped their Night Stock, which is kind of big because they do lose the gem as well, but they get the Void, they get the Prophet. Two right clickers down. Prophet has buyback, Void has nothing. And now everyone. Uh, it, it, he didn't just like, I don't want these. Get out. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought that's what it was, and at that point, like, honestly, he's rich enough where he can get away with that stuff. There's gonna be a tornado, it will be dodged out by the Slardar, and there's gonna be a dire sandwich here on a rise. They're gonna go back on through, they miss the crush, but they will end up getting the crippling fear and the void, and that's gonna be a dead invoker. He's dead for 78 seconds, and his buyback is not cheap. 
And meanwhile, the life still getting killed by Power Rangers. The rest of the members getting a Chronos initiation onto him. Obviously, a great kill. Um, it's not really going to be able to stop the members from pushing. I feel like because they still have the access maybe able when life still is finally up. He has his traps. They still have the access maybe available when life still is finally up. He has his travel boots available, and now okay, Phoenix and. Phoenix is they playing a ballsy fight. game. They got a double man silence. They got a double soul siphon. Goddamn, trying to whack away on Kaiser for all it's worth. With that Octarine heart, there's not a whole lot they can do. They get down the slaughter. They're looking for relax as well. They drop everyone. There's gems on deck. J4 going into that ghost form. Kaiser, he's sitting there. He's going to be stuck up finally. Some of his health is melting down. The sunray does have to end at some point. Now leap away from the Phoenix. He's trying to get out scot free here. Cheshire Cat popping out that path, trying to go in, trying to get through the TP. Does he live? He does. No. No, at the very last second, one more hit from the life stealer will secure his death. Phoenix is the lone survivor of that bloody, bloody massacre. This is kind of like why? Why, why was Power Rangers taking that fight? Team Boko was standing. They're looking to reach high ground here. They get the sprout. They're gonna blink away. They got the rage. Goddamn lands of Chrono. It's only onto Kaiser though, the tankiest one on the whole goddamn team. And they're gonna do something here as Kaiser burning down just a little bit in that BKB form. Now there is gonna be Cheshire Cat lifted up into the air. He's gonna be taking some damage here. Will he get down? It looks like they're gonna go through. They get the crush. They get the kill. That's gonna be an immediate buyback from the Prophet. But now Invoker drops. He buys back as well. J4 in some trouble. Pop into the ghost form. They're whacking on Bignum on the back lines. Focus just doing so much zoning work. Going back in for Cheshire. Cat. If they get the kill here, that's a dieback, and they're bringing in all their resources. They bring in Kaiser with that Shiva's guard. It looks like Cheshire Cat getting super, super low, but he's gonna be walking back to his base. They get down Bignum, who doesn't have buyback. Similar story with the Disruptor. Looks like this will be Mega Creeps in favor of Broodmother's most likely game as well, the Forge Spirits. They can only do so much. There's gonna be a Sun Strike. It does end up dropping the Slardar, but the GG is called in favor of Broodmother's at 50 minutes into the game. What a crazy.